Hey guys, and welcome back to Allotment Newbie. My name's Jenna, and we're at my, my blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're at my allotment plot in Doncaster. So, a bit of an update for you this week. Um, I'm going to start slowing down my videos. It's getting close to winter. Things are getting very samey, weeding, digging, that sort of thing. And I don't want to bore you guys. Um, so I'm going to do update videos. They will all be, always be posted on Sunday as normal. Um, but they're going to be a bit more sporadic, so it might be once a month, might be twice a month. Might just have to wait until something exciting eventually happens on the plot for me to be able to video it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, please do comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer. Um, if you have any ideas or, I don't know, any suggestions, by all means, again, just comment on this video and I'll do my best to accommodate. So anyway, this will be the last one or last weekly one uh, on a Sunday, unless something ama majorly wonderful happens next week, of course. Um, so yeah, we're going to get some work done today and let's see how that, well, well, let's see where the day takes us, I suppose. So I've just been giving everything a little bit of a water and I've come to my carrots. I can say plural because there's two <laughs> uh, in the bed that I, I sowed some and I've had my first carrot flower. I've never seen a carrot flower before, um, but then I've not been growing carrots very long. So this is a new one for me. So I'm going to show you how pretty it looks. So there you go. A carrot that's flowered. It's starting to come up here as well. And over here. So I'm going to pull it up in a minute and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So um, I'm going to pull this carrot plant up. I don't even think there's a carrot under there. Um, but we've had to wait because it's rained <laughs> again so we'll have a look see what's happened it just looks like a plant do you know what I mean but let's have a look I don't think there's a no look at that so it tried failed and flowered <laughs> but you know we've learned something new today um, so yeah that was a failed failed carrot ah oh, bless so then we are going to do um, a little job right now see if I can just I very blue petered it all, you know, everything's ready here, ready to go. Um, so me and my dad went to the garden centre uh, recently. We've saved a lavender plant. This is what I wanted to have in the allotment because the bees absolutely love it. <clears throat> now, on this side, as you can see, it's half dead. This side is fine. It only costs us a pound. So we'd like I say, we, we decided to save it, rescue it or whatever. <laughs> it smells amazing. Um, we've got this pot that my grandmother gave us. As an extra one to use. Thank you, Gran. Um, so yeah, everything's ready to go. So we're gonna get that all potted up and looking lovely. And then we're gonna put it over where the pack tree is at the moment because there's a bit of spare room if it fits. If not, we'll figure it out. We always do. Okay, guys, it's trying to rain again, so we need to get cracked on with this. Might have to stop halfway through uh, so I don't get absolutely soaked. Okay. Let's get this done as quickly as possible. Right, so I've filled this up to about, sorry, about here. So we'll get the plant in and then we'll top it up with a bit more uh, compost. This is the stuff that I buy from our shop. It's absolutely amazing stuff. Right. There we go, make a nice big hoil for it. And let's hope this bad boy does really well. Oh, the smell of the lavender though, it's lovely jubbly. Oh, here it is. Oh, there you go. Looking lovely, it smells lovely. So we're just going to chuck a bit more compost on that and it's ready to go. Oh, we're going to have to go and hide in the shed, it's absolutely coming down now. Once I've done all this. I'll quickly show you again, one second. So we've got the lavender plant in its new home. It looks a bit skew whiffy, but you know, you know me, I never do anything right, do I? So we'll go find this little home and I'm going to go and hide in the shed biggling it down so had to dash doing that last job as you know because it was raining but yeah it, the lavender's looking nice in its new home um 
the dead bit is, well, the dying bit is still on it. Uh, I didn't want to pull too much apart in case I knackered the roots or anything. Like I say, I'm still new to a lot of growing stuff. So I'm going to try and find a little home for it and then we'll go on to the next job. Hey, it's raining again. So me and Pops are sat in the shed. <laughs> As usual. As usual, yeah. So just a couple of things I wanted to say to you guys uh, before we leave today. So like I said at the beginning, a lot less videos for now until, you know, things start picking up and, and what have you. So... Oh yeah, so I wanted to also mention, so you know my dad, he, you know, comes when there's no work to be done. Uh, <laughs> only kidding, we've done quite a lot today to be fair, which I'll show you in a minute. So uh, yeah, my dad is actually um, an author. He's written his first book and I just wanted to mention it to you guys because he's currently on TikTok. He's just opened his shop so people can buy his book. I will put a link in the comments section if you would like to go and have a look perfect little stocking filler for Christmas as that's coming up in the next few months um so yeah go and have a look by all means I'm sure you've got a little one in your life I mean it's not for little little ones it's for older I'd say about uh, yeah about seven eight upwards um so yeah go and have a look he's also got some pens that he's selling as well so yeah so that's my dad Doncaster author <laughs> So yeah, so I'm going to show you some of the things that we've done today in a moment um, before we do go. And we even managed to get loads more wood chip today, which has been fantastic. In fact, you might be able to see it just outside the shed. <clears throat> now my dad's shifted. Hang on. Oh, there, look. That's all new wood chip that we've got. Three barrows worth. So that was really good. Unfortunately, the weather's been against us again today. So every now and then we're nipping out, doing a bit, coming back in. So this will be a super short video. <laughs> Um, just because we didn't want get you know we don't want to get our technology wet now, do we? Anyway, so we're just going to go harvest a few bits and pieces, and then we'll we're going to get off, kids. So I'll see you in a minute. Look at state. <laughs> it's raining. We're wet. We've done great with the tomatoes. I'll show you that real quick first, because then there's another little job <laughs> I want to uh, show you guys. So this is what we've got. Look at all these. <laughs> How amazing is that? We'll get more and more every week, which is fantastic. I'm so glad I allowed the tomatoes to grow wild because I'm not joking, there's hundreds, hundreds of them. And it's just great to see. Um, so we're going to harvest also the first beetroot of the year because the first lot didn't germinate. I think even the second lot didn't either. So let's do this. <laughs> okay, so we're pulling this one up here. It's really, really big. Uh, I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous. If you look underneath, it's actually not a bad little size. I think there's actually two that have been in there together. There's a tiny one there, which will be no good, but we'll have to pull the lot up. So let's do it. Look at that colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That is lovely jubbly. I'll just pass it to my dad. There you go, Pops, because there's one more we're going to get today, which is that one down there, because I've not fed it this morning. You want me to pull it? If you want to, you're more than welcome to. So... Let me just check this one here. It's going to be a decent size. Ready? Yep. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Oh, I'm so proud. Proud as proud can be. This area here has been a real labour of love today. Because of the rain, I've not got half as much done. There's still weeds in there I've got to pull out, but it was really horrible this morning. Um, so I'm gonna leave it as it is at the moment. It was like trying to break through brick, it's crazy. Then it rained loads, I thought, oh, lovely, soil will be soft. <laughs> so yeah, it's looking a lot better um, than what it was. Weeded as much as I can on it. I've done some pictures for you to look at, which you'll see uh, before I talk to you about it, basically. But yeah, it's getting there and we just have to get the border on it. We started putting a border on this bed here where the lettuce is with the bricks, some that we had spare. So that's coming along nice. And yeah, so just got to pull up some chard now um, and the two courgettes that have grown. 
it seems that the courgette plant knows there's two of us because quite literally every week there is two ready to harvest uh, see if you can see yeah and there's two babies that are just starting to grow now so they'll be ready for next week so yeah everything's looking pretty good so far all right last few bits of harvesting then it's home time so we are at the sweet corn at the moment we've taken one off granted it is in the block that we've planted it but it's not been as good as i've hoped for um so i'm going to do more next year in the hopes that at least we'll get a couple decent ones but look at this first one of the year how great is that i mean it's not perfect i reckon they'll be able to eat that even though you know they're not huge but yeah chuff 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 i'm always chuffed aren't i i love it Mwah. lovely <laughs> right gang we are finally going and as we're going the sun is trying to come out typical so we've managed to harvest quite a bit today so you saw all the tomatoes you've seen one of the um corn on the cobs my dad's got one as well it's very small but it's it's no it's been pollinated so it should be tasty fingers crossed and i haven't done that in ages so don't tell me off uh, we've pulled up all the chard um we've got the courgettes and beetroot which you saw us pull up so everything's starting to get a bit more bare now so that's where the chard was um you know things are things are getting pulled up left right and center so anyway we've done that we've got the other two um uh, I don't know if you can see through the wall the other two raised beds are up they've not been lined we've chucked some cardboard in it for now so yeah work is being done jobs are good and anyway guys thank you for joining me this week it's been a pleasure as always so from me and my pops over yonder we say goodbye see you later mm -hmm.